we were at the United Center where having dealt with traffic on a Friday, which was a, a real royal pain. But speaking of royalty, we are with the new Mrs. Illinois 2012. 2012. Lisa Anderson Sonnenberg. How are you? I'm great, thank you. And you're just coming off a hockey game. I am. Last night I was asked to shoot the puck for the game last night. So I'm, I'm on a high. I made the first shot. And your hockey background, how extensive is that? Uh, zero. Last night. Last night was one. Less than zero? <laughs> Less than zero. I was focusing on my form and my aim and not wanting to look dumb. And I made it. I think so. Okay. It's pure luck. Were you in six-inch heels like most of the girls who go out there? My, mine are probably five. I've been chills, yeah. And they didn't even tell me. It was just my uh, my style. Just, just, <laughs> just my style. You don't need it, though. The height. What are you, about eight foot three normally? Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, no. But you are tall. Five seven. Five seven. Okay. Yeah. Not Amazonian, but borderline. Exactly. So you, you win Mrs. Illinois. Your first time entering the, the pageant? First pageant in my life. First pageant in my life. Beginner's first, luck? Beginner's luck. I think beginner's luck and uh, definitely my cause. I think my cause is going to help me um, go pretty far. Or I'm hoping to get my cause going pretty far. And your cause is? Depression awareness, mental health. Oh. So you can help me out here. <laughs> you don't need it. You're oh. good. <laughs> I was going to say, taping this interview takes away a lot of depression. You've, all, you've competed on another stage, though. Bikini competition. I did bikini competition last November and got lucky in one first place. That was my first show ever as well. Boy, you just hit them out of the park. Boom, boom. <laughs> That's right. Two for two. And you're part of Team Fab. Does that sound correct? Yes, Team Fab. Stacy Boyer and Sandy, they, um, they are awesome coach and put this together, this group of support and nutrition and fitness programs. And we all compete at different levels, different competitions and support each other. It's, it was really neat. It's neat to go to a competition and know that you have a team rooting for you, whether they're there, whether they're at home, but you know you've worked together, you support each other before the competition, and then to be there, to know they're there. Okay. Then the Mrs. Mrs. Illinois competition was, was like the bikini competition, only with more clothes? And Actually, it, it's, it, you're correct, but it's, <laughs> it is... Uh, it's, I'm sure it's more involved than that, it too. Is, it is more involved, but as for figure, I had to tone it down, and which was hard for me, because I do like muscle, I like to lift weights, okay. and I can still do that, I just had to tone it down. They're not looking for as much cut and definition. Now, how, how does one win Mrs. Illinois? Not that I'm looking to enter anytime soon. <laughs> Well, you need to first submit an entry form, and then they look it over, and then they send you a, a note back to tell you that you were um, admitted in. And then you become a semifinalist. Um, and then the different divisions, you have costume, which are not judged on costume, but it's just kind of a fun, something you represent your state. And you are, you're judged on your interview, swimsuit, and evening gown. And I, I actually got first place. Well, I got the only award for swimsuit. So... They ask you a question. Is this like Miss America where, you know, they ask questions? They do. 50% of your score is the interview. And, but on stage, they don't do anything like the judge's question or a final question on stage. It's okay. more just fun getting to know you. They ask me what I did for a living, and so it's just kind of a fun question on stage. Having won this, you now advance to? Mrs. America um, Nationals. So that is... You know, we're looking at any second they're supposed to be contacting us and letting us know. We don't know where, if it'll be in the next one to two months. Okay. And uh, Miss Illinois has never taken the Miss America crown. So I'm hoping, got a lot of pressure on me. Time for another first. <laughs> exactly. We've had second and third runner-ups, which, you know, is pretty amazing in itself out of 50 states. And for those who missed you at the Blackhawks game, you will be at White Sox, Cubs games? I'll be throwing the first pitch at a White Sox and a Cubs game. I, I'm not sure when, when the date okay. is of that yet. So you have the, the tiara, is that super glued on? or Exactly, with all this hairspray, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't sleep with it. I don't you sure? My, <laughs> my daughter does, my six-year-old daughter does. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's fun. It's fun to wear it. I have, it's, I have to balance. It's balancing act. Well, sp speaking of balancing acts, you have four children. I have four kids, seven and under. So, 
Any sanity? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get my mind around that. No sanity, but I truly was blessed with good kids. Honestly, good kids. Not perfect, but good. Very good kids. So it, it makes it, and my husband, we make a good team. So we, we make it work. Right. Well, you know, as long as you're perfect, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> that's right. That's no. right. And now that I'm Mrs. Mo, I can tell them what to do. And, and they can't argue with you, right? That's right. That's they, right. They, be, they don't believe that, do they? No. They, they still know your mom. <laughs> exactly. I, I think they're, they are shocked seeing mom getting all this attention and everybody wanting pictures with me. I think it's still a shock, but that, I think they like it. They like. They saw me on TV last night, and the babysitter left them up, say that let them stay up till ten so they could watch oh. me. So it was a treat for them. And at a Bulls game, will we see you dunking anytime soon yeah. or anything like that? No. No. <laughs> Maybe in the six inch hills, I can do that. Well, you don't even have those on tonight. No, no. I wonder tonight's three and a half. <laughs> Casual Friday. <laughs> That's right. All right. Nice. Well, thank you for your time. We'll thank look you. forward to seeing more of you uh, all all over Illinois. Yeah, I'll keep you posted on uh, the date for the national, so you guys can root for me here in Illinois. We will definitely will. Right. Thank you. Thank you.